What's going on guys? It's your boy Optionism here, giving you guys the second to last video of doing all of our skill builds. Um, this is going to be the Katari. I've not played against him yet, but after uh, looking over everything, it's actually really good and actually a really simple build. Uh, but it does require all uh, 19 of your skill points, levels 1 through 20. That, that it, It's going to require all of them pretty much. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Now what this build is going to be about is pretty much the tanky whirlwind build and uh, by that I mean obviously it's going to be a whirlwind and um, yeah so we want to get straight down to whirlwind and fully upgrade it so that way you do bonus damage per rotation so you do the first like you do the first spin you're going to do 85 percent damage and then obviously the next well okay so well that's per hit which all right so bonus damage per rotation meaning every, every complete 180 that you do uh is going to do more and more damage so you're going to do 15% then 30% then 45% then 50% so i mean it's going to get stronger and stronger but at the same time it costs uh stamina and i believe this is where i think it's actually stamina per second so you're going to really really want anything and everything that you can uh, you're going to want cooldown reduction, and you're going to want stamina regen. And for stamina regen, there's this one right here, which is deep reserves, which is as soon as your stamina hits uh, 50%, uh, you start to get a 50% uh, regen, or like a generation rate. And then uh, when we get over to this one, we're going to have challenge, and we're going to have that upgraded, so that way we also get 15% stamina per, or 15 stamina per second. So, yeah. So starting off, we're gonna go clear the or clear a path, and then we're gonna get warriors resolve. Sorry, just checking that one. Uh, so that's level two, level three, level four. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hold up. Level two, level three, level four, level five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All of these are so helpful. So that's eleven. I want to say I got these ones too having such a brain fart. Yeah, we'll say 12 because armor reduction is nice for more damage. So, alright, so that's 12. And we got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's 19 all the way. Okay, so that means that as soon as you do this, you're going to start regenerating your stamina, and you, that means that any foe that is uh, taunted, you're going to do an additional 20% damage to, so that's insane. Especially if you've got a, a whirlwind that's just increasing damage which with each swing. And then, um, I guess, uh, pretty sure there was another passive that I had planned, but I guess what we could do is, uh, we could end up getting another one... So that costs 50 stamina. That's fucking retarded. No, it's got to be one. Hmm. That's 50 stamina. That's 35 stamina. That's only 20 second cooldown. So I guess pummel strike. Yeah, that's a fast strike. But actually, you know what? Nope, Gore Trample. Yeah, Gore and Trample, that's what you want because your next ability will cost no stamina. So I'm actually really curious to know if, with that being said, because uh, it increases your duration of your uh, your little sprint thingy. Um, wait. Oh, I guess the six seconds after you stop doing your charge. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, is that you have six seconds to activate your next ability, which I'm hoping that'll trigger for this. So maybe there's a possibility that you can have infinite whirlwind. I don't know, that seems really broken if that's the case. Or maybe you have six seconds of free whirlwind. No, I don't know. I'm definitely going to test that out, though. But yeah, definitely you want to go towards, uh, you want to concentrate on getting your whirlwind upgraded and get all of the, uh, what I would consider the bloodlust, uh, passives right in this little area and of course go down hit that for some stamina regen and then you want to get this upgraded for some stamina regen so yeah that's what i think guys get this little l shape going 
And with this one, you get this whole bottom area. And yeah, that's going to be a whirlwind tank type. Uh, hopefully you guys have uh, really good equipment to also give you some life on hit or life per kill. I know uh, some of these actually, uh, I think some of, uh, well, brain fart, but anyway, you'll do more damage. Yeah, it dies near you, you do an additional 30%, and then right here you get increased, uh, um, yeah, when an enemy is, like, badly wounded, so when an enemy's d uh, down to 35%, is when it kicks in, I want to say. So then you end up becoming 50% faster, 10% uh, critical chance to increase, uh, and then 5% for each, 10% missing health for yourself, obviously. And armor penetration, of course, lets you do more damage. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of potential to do massive damage. And pretty much just keep swinging, because you'll just keep hitting things and knock them over, get them away from you. So coup de gras is really good. Uh, for Whirlwind, because Whirlwind, I, I'm pretty sure you do knock down. But, yeah, that's my opinion on it. Um, please let me know what you guys think. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Adoptionism. Link is down in the description below. And as always, don't forget to check out my buddy Jay Stream. All of his links are down in the description as well. And also don't forget to stop by 7controllers.com. Links are down in the description. Don't forget to use the discount code ADOPT. That's A-D-O-P-T uh, upon your checkout so that we... Uh, you guys can support me by using my discount code, and I can also help you out by getting you guys a, a discount on some really cool uh, controllers for really great prices. And, yeah, um, this has pretty much been it. Uh, le let me know down in the comment section below if uh, there's any other variations to uh, to this build, if you guys think there's anything cool about it or any other uh, tweaks that you think that I should do to this build. Or even just share your build yourself down in the description. Let me know uh, what your skill setup is, and I'll probably try and give that a try on one of my times promoting it. But yeah, guys, it's been your boy Adopt. I hope you enjoyed the video. Love you guys. Peace out.